So, just female students? No, no, no male students. Okay, uh, okay, the uh, students. We will start our lecture so that so that you will not wait anymore, and uh, the others may join us later, maybe. Okay, hello and uh, very good good evening, uh, and happy to see you all here. Um, okay, during the lecture, there's a, uh, a problem while uh, while hear, hearing me. Okay, just uh, send a message, please, through the chat. Okay, so um, I hope uh, you are all uh, safe and sound, um, and um, I ask Allah to save us all. Uh, okay, so to save us all uh, from this uh, infection or disease, you know, coronavirus, and uh, we hope, inshallah, we'll meet. Uh, We'll hit, uh, inshallah, we'll meet, inshallah, soon in our university. Okay, we miss, we miss our university much. Okay, uh, I think uh, um, through uh, registering through uh, two videos already sent to you through the Google Class Classroom, some of uh, some of you said said that okay, we have a problem and. Uh, Okay, in turning on that uh, or those videos, so I'll try to uh, uh, go fast as fast uh, as possible to uh, explain uh, again. Okay, some of those uh, some of those uh, uh, issues or terms related much to translation. Okay. Uh, uh, as you can see here, we'll start with the competence. Okay, what's what's competence? Okay, actually, uh, this is taken from linguistics, and uh, as you can see here at the last line of this definition, Chomsky's linguistics. Chomsky uh, actually Chomsky distinguishes uh, two terms related to related to uh, linguistics, that is uh, uh, performance and competence. And actually competence here, it is the ability of translation. From where comes this ability? It comes from the knowledge, how much he reads articles, theses, um, you know, books, okay. Those, okay, and the, uh, actually training courses uh, these uh, these um, okay uh, compile these uh, compile the knowledge okay so, so through reading through hearing through going through those courses there will come your knowledge your uh, compiled knowledge or already deposited knowledge so this knowledge in the terms of the translation, we call this competence. So it is your ability to deal with texts. It is your ability to handle some uh, problems related to translation. So this is uh, this is called competence. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, you can uh, uh, choose whatever. Uh, written here to uh, okay but this is the main idea of uh, competence so it is your knowledge your ability to handle problems in translation uh, and actually it's taken from linguistics okay the uh, the next term consecutive interpreting okay consecutive interpreting Okay, uh, any problem? Certainly, uh, uh, as as we have said, if you have got a problem with uh, with voice, with voice, just confirm that. Okay, we cannot hear, so that maybe we uh, we could uh, uh, okay um, set uh, another maybe another lecture. Okay, consecutive interpreting, consecutive. Interpreting. It is like in this way. Okay. Um, 
Um, in official meetings, in official meetings, usually presidents, uh, okay, and for example, uh, two parties, two political parties, two, uh, okay, uh, uh, high-ranking officials from two different languages, for example, English and Arabic. For example, the, the president of the United States and the president of Iraq, okay. Um, maybe the president, uh, the two presidents are not speaking the each other's language. For example, the president of the United States cannot speak uh, Arabic. So they need an interpreter. Okay, uh, so, um, um, so it is like in this way. Someone is speaking, for example, three or four sentences. And then comes the role of the interpreter. So we call this interpreting rather than rather than translation. Why? Because it is oral. Oral. It's not written. Okay, someone is speaking. For example, the president is speaking and he poses for, for a while. And then comes the role of the interpreter or the translator. Here it is oral the translator. We call it interpreter. So he gives the translation of what the president's already said. After finishing his translation or interpreting, okay, then the uh, president okay continues his speech, four or five sentences, and then comes the role of the interpreter so in this way it is consecutive one by one consecutive one follows the other so it is called consecutive interpret okay the uh, the next term is context next term is context okay it is the outer it's the outer the environment of the message, the environment of the message. Okay, for example, and I think I've uh, given you uh, much, uh, uh, much regarding this term while uh, we were in class. Okay, it is something very important. For example, in in the class, for example, when I say, okay, uh, it's hot. It's hot. My message, my message is to say it's hot. Okay, but but uh, you are as students, you have to know that okay. Uh, what uh, what's meant here behind uh, or the message behind behind this this short sentence is that, for example. You have to turn on the, the fans or open the door or open the windows. So the the context the context of the context of my message is very important. Okay, how can we uh, how can we uh, make use the context? Okay, you can use the we have what they call it outer outer context and inner context. Okay. Uh, uh, yes, we said it is something very important in translation. Why? Because the, the, the message, the meaning of the message will completely different if you use it outside a context. So inside a context, it will be something else. Okay, I'll give you uh, here also uh, another example. For example, when you uh, okay, uh, we have uh, got here some uh, new cameras, new new students joined us. Okay, welcome, welcome. If can you hear me? Okay. For example, the word spring, the word spring. You know the, the word spring. Okay. We have many many meanings for the word spring. You you may open the dictionary, you find maybe two or three pages meanings for for context. Uh, sorry for spring. But 
okay. For example, it is Arabi. Or this. Okay. We we call it. For example, a novel. Okay. A novel. Uh, yes. A novel. Okay. Uh, we have some problems here with the, some okay okay try try to uh, sign out if you uh, okay um, please for those who, who cannot hear me please try to sign in and if you have a problem sign out and re-sign again okay okay uh, so uh, yes spring Okay, we have, for example, Arabi, Annabal, Aw Yaqfiz, Aw Nafura. Okay, you have many, many meanings for for uh, spring. But, uh, yes, within context, okay, within context, yes, we'll definitely know which, which one or which meaning is intended, which meaning is intended Okay, which meaning is intended by the writer? Which meaning is intended, intended by the writer? Okay, we'll just check the messages. Some some students they say uh, they have problem with the uh, with the voice. Okay, we'll try to register. Please, we'll try to register uh, those uh, messages. Okay, we'll continue. I'll try to record this uh, this lecture and send it to to the uh, classroom, Google Classroom. Okay. So yes, the context is important to define which meaning is intended intended by by the speaker or the writer. If you are uh, if you have got a written text. Okay, cultural cultural translation cultural translation. But before going through uh, cultural translation, we have to know what's meant by culture. What's meant by culture? Actually, uh, yes, it is ways of life, ways of uh, living, daily life. Uh, culture actually is very important. Cultural culture is very important. And uh, yes, it is knowing culture, okay, is knowing the language. Okay, if you don't know, if you don't know culture of any language, you don't know the language. Yes. Uh, and uh, I think in one of the videos, uh, I, uh, I gave you an example of the dog. We know what is a dog. Okay, and the uh, for example, if you are translating from Arab, Arabic into English or vice versa, yes, you have you have to uh, you have to know the the difference in culture regarding this this item. Regarding this item. Okay. And uh, in, in the Arabic region, in the Arabic region, it is. In the Arabic region, it is um, a discarded animal. It's uh, we don't love uh, dogs. But uh, in the uh, okay, some are trying to join us. Maybe there's a problem. Maybe weak internet. We hope, inshallah, uh, we fix this problem. Maybe in the future. And you may, you, you fix the problem. I think I don't have a problem. Everything goes well here with me. Okay. Uh, yes. Um, oh, yes, it is. Man, we, we don't love dogs here. We don't love dogs here in the Arabic region. But in the English region, in the English region, it's a lovely, lovely uh, animal. They love dogs. It's a pet. Uh, it's one of the members of their houses. Okay, they miss this animal. So while while translating this item, I mean the dog, 
and uh, b between English and Arabic, you have to be careful. Okay. For example, is uh, for example, in in uh, if you want to insult somebody in the Arabic region, you will say, "I'm so so sorry. I'm so sorry for this." They say you are the son of dog. I'm so sorry for this, but this is an ex to uh, I mean to give the, the, you the, the the impression that it is a discarded animal. We don't li like dogs, but in uh, in the Western region, yes, it's a lovely animal, and it is one of the members of their houses. Okay. Uh, so in translation, we have to be careful. Okay. This is culture. This is what's meant by culture. Cultural translation is translating those translating those items related to culture, related to daily life, relating to customs, habits, meals, uh, ways of greetings, all those things related to related to culture. So uh, translating translating this translating this as uh, actually uh, actually it is one of the most problematic areas in translation to translate cultural cultural items. Okay, uh, we'll try to move to the next. Okay. Okay, descriptive and prescriptive translation. Okay, please uh, I'll wait for a while. Can you confirm that you can see the the, the slides on the uh, on the show? Please can you send a message? Can you see the uh, the slides just on the chat? We can see yes send the message we can see the slides the show. Yes, you can see. Yeah, yes. Okay, you can see the slides. Okay. Okay, so descriptive and prescriptive translation. Descriptive and prescriptive translation. Actually, we uh, for for this term we need uh, a whole lecture to define, but I'll give as short as uh, possible uh, discussion of uh, what's meant by descriptive and prescriptive. Actually, there are two approaches, two theories of translation. Descriptive approach and prescriptive approach. OK, uh, as the, the name says, descriptive. So we are describing, we are describing translations. We are describing translations rather than prescribing translations. Okay, so uh, the descriptive approach, okay, but, but before going to the descriptive approach, because it is the, the older, old, uh, older one is the prescriptive. Okay, and the prescriptive approach, it says, okay, when you read a book, and it is a prescriptive or, uh, or adopting the pr prescriptive approach, the author says, okay, you have to follow such and such rules if you want to get a successful translation. If you want to get a successful translation, you have to follow such and such rules. This is prescriptive. So uh, it is like all command, okay? Commanding, commanding translator, uh, translators to follow certain rules, get successful translation. While the descriptive approach, the descriptive approach, no. 
Okay, it's like uh, okay. Oh, it's based on based on something universal. Okay, for example, if we have a novel in English and it is translated and it is translated into Arabic. For example, one of those well-known uh, works of uh, Shakespeare, for example, Othello. Othello. You know Othello. Othello. Okay, it's tra translated into Arabic as Utay. Okay, we have actually many, many translations of Othello. Okay, we'll um, take the opinions. Take the opinions. Okay, the we will spread a questionnaires. Questionnaires, istibyanat, istibyanat, to a well-known translators. Okay, give you our impression of, for example, we have, for example, five translations for Othello. I'll, okay, uh, okay, give you, uh, so, sorry, give me your impression regarding those translations. Okay, so, uh, what's your opon uh, opinion regarding this translation? Okay, so, most of the translators selected one of those translators. They say this is a successful translation. So we'll go back to this translation. Go back to this translation to see why it is successful. We'll try to analyze. We'll try to analyze this translation. Okay, what is this message? from one of the students. Okay. So, yes, we'll continue. Continue, I've tried to register this, uh, this lecture and I'll try to post it as, as soon as possible. Okay, so yes, uh, most translators says, uh, sorry, said one of the translation is the best one. So we'll try to analyze this translation. What makes this translation successful? Okay, we'll try to, okay, identify the main features of this translation that made it successful. Is it the style? Is it this, this, this uh, the structure, it is the grammar, is, is it the outline, the main outline? Why? So, why it is successful translation? Okay, after, after analyzing this, after analyzing the, the, the translation, we will come out, come out with, with features or guidelines for a successful translation. So this is the difference between descriptive translation and prescriptive translation. Okay, uh, domestication versus foreignization. Domestication. Okay, um, maybe for descriptive uh, versus prescriptive, I'll give you, um, because it's somehow, um, not easy to understand. I'll give an explain uh, an explanation in Arabic. Okay. طبعا ال يعني هي عبارة عن نظريتين. الآن مقسمة نظريات ال الترجمة وهي النظرية الوصفية اللي هي descriptive والنظرية اللي هي ال يسموها يعني أحيانا ال الأمرية يعني يجب أن الأمرية أو اللي هي يعني خلينا نقول هي ال خلينا نقول هي ال guided guided اللي هي prescriptive guided يعني هاي اللي prescriptive يعني يعني خلينا نقول بدءا من نايدا و و ال يعني المنظرين في الترجمة اللي قبل نايدا واللي بعد نايدا طبعا ال اوكي اللي قبل نايدا واللي بعد نايدا. 
يقولون انه يجب ان تتبع ال خلينا نقول التعليمات التاليه للحصول على ترجمه يجب يجب ان تتبع التعليمات التاليه يعني امر الى الامر الى المترجمين انه يجب اتباع قواعد معينه في الترجمه هذا تقريبا يعني المحتوى النظريه اما النظريه الوصفيه descriptive وهي طبعا الاحدث وهي الاحدث أه تقول انه لا مو مو امري الامر ليس يعني انه تامر المترجم باتباع تعليمات معينه ولكن بالشكل التالي يوزعون مثلا عندنا خلينا نقول عمل معين لشكسبير وهو مثلا نظريه خلينا نقول مسرحيه اوطيل وهذا يعني اوثيلو ومترجمه للغه العربيه ترجمات عديده جدا فيختارون مثلا خمس او ست ترجمات من الترجمات البارزه او الواضحه جدا وتعطى الى اشخاص مختصين بالترجمه وطبعا هذول الاشخاص راح يقرون محتوى الترجمه ويختارون خلينا نقول اثنين او خلينا نقول او وحده وحده او اثنين من هاي الترجمات اللي يظنون انه هاي الترجمات هي ترجمات جيده مقبوله و يبلشون يبدا تحليل لهذه هاي الترجمه، ترجمه او ترجمتين يبدا بالتحليل، يبدا بالتحليل. وبعد تحليل يعني تحليل الاسلوب، الستايل، تحليل الجرامر، ستراكشر، يعني هاي الامور اللي نعرفها بالترجمه. راح يخرج بتوصيات الى المترجمين انه حتى تحصل على ترجمه ناجحه بامكانك 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 او تخلي في بالك بعض من هذه الامور انه يعني يعني خلينا نقول اسلوب الترجمه يعني يكون بطريقه معينه تكون مقبوله الى القارئ تكون مقبوله الى القارئ طبعا هذا الفرق ب يعني انا احاول انه ما استخدم اللغه العربيه ولكن قد انه يعني يحصل هنا ارباك لانه شويه يعني جزء مصطلحات شويه يعني غريبه عليكم يعني ديسكربتيف وهي نظريات عباره عن نظريات في الترجمه يعني يجب على كل يعني دارس للترجمه ان يتعرف على هذه النظريات Okay, uh, I think we'll stop here. We'll stop here. Okay, uh, we'll stop here. Okay. أحبابنا الطلبة أنا حق يعني خلال هذه الفترة خلال هذه الفترة حاولت إنه يعني أكو العديد من الكورسات المجانية. الكورسات المجانية الموجودة على الإنترنت حاول تستغل هذه الـ الـ حاول تستغل حاول تستغل هذه الـ الـ الفترة أنت أصلاً يعني جالس بالبيت وجزء أكيد هسه جزء قسم عندكم جاي تعلمون طبخ أو تعلمون يعني بعض الـ يعني يساعدون بعمال المنزل أكيد يعني يعني نسأل الله أنه يعني يعني ان شاء الله تكون ما تطول هاي يعني الازمه وان شاء الله رب العالمين يعني يحفظ الجميع ولكن حاول وحاول انه يعني راح الان ارسل ارسل لكم يعني بعض اللينكات اللي كورسات مجاني هي سهله سهله مو صعبه وتنطي ايضا شهاده مشاركه يعني تحديدا في اختصاصنا وراح اول ما ارسل ان شاء الله اول ما ارسل ان شاء الله آآ آآ يعني هذا كورس في الكتابه كورس بالكتابه طبعا هو طبعا هو هذا الكورس مقدم من يعني موقع ادراك طبعا هذا اردني مدعوم طبعا هذا الموقع ويعني به ايضا اللي قائمين عليه يعني الاكسنت يعني اللغه مالتهم جيده جدا اللغه مالتهم جيده جدا يعني الانجليزيه وراح يعني هذا 
يعني انا متاكد لو تبعت هذا الكورس تماما راح يكون عندك راح يكون عندك يعني معلومات قويه جدا عن كتابه البحث العلمي يعني تقدر الان تخلص الكورس يعني اذا كان الانترنت يعني هو لان هو بيعرض فيديوهات وبيسئله وبايضا امتحانات طبعا بعد يعني من تكمل يعني تقدر تكمل هذا الكورس خلال ثلاثه ايام ولكن اخذ وقت بفتره واحاول تستمع الى الـ الى هاي الـ الفيديوهات الموجوده راح ارسل لكم اللينك ان شاء الله مهم جدا انت خلال يعني انت جالس جالس بالبيت ف حاولوا انه يعني تطلع يعني اكو هاي قلنا هاي الشغلات المجانيه هاي شغلات هي مجانيه كورسات مجانيه وتعطي شهاده انت قاعد بالبيت وتحصل على شهاده فهذا يعني يعني تقريبا حتى الـ يعني الـ انا شفت انه ما يحتاج انترنت حيل قوي ما يحتاج انترنت قوي جدا الان بي شغلات يعني قسم مقالات كتابيه وقسم لا فيديوهات يعني تحتاج ف يعني راح ارسل لكم اللينك على الجوجل كلاس روم and i hope you will all join this uh, this course it is uh, very uh, important and it is beneficial for you inshallah i'll hope you you will uh, join this course and uh, actually it is for writing وتحدينا راح يشوفون انه يعني كتاب كيفيه كتابه المقاله وهو تحديدا كيفيه كتابه بحثك الان بحثك بحث التخرج مهم جدا يعني حاول حاولوا تطلعون عليه وان شاء الله راح ارسل اللينك وبعض التفاصيل يحتاج اسئله او كذا حتى يعني تسجيل بسيط خطوات بسيطه وما يحتاج فد شيء وبالنهايه ما تكمل يعطيك شهاده مشاركه حتى بها باركود يعني باركود موثق وبلينك ويعني فد شيء مرتب ان شاء الله وتوفيق للجميع مع يعني اوكي اي ثينك وي ستوب هير اوكي فور 5 مينتس فور 5 مينتس ال Okay, if you have got uh, um, uh, any, any, anything you, uh, you want to add, okay, I'll just wait five minutes to see your messages. Okay, if you have got anything to add, please write it down. Okay, I'll, uh, now I can see your messages. Okay, if you have got something, okay, you can, you can share, okay, you can give me a message. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'll try, I'll try to see your messages. Okay, Norashid, uh, good evening, sir. How you? I hope to find. Okay. Oh, weak internet. Okay, this is this is uh, this is a problem for us, not just for you, uh, Nisreen. I hope, inshallah, I will uh, fix this problem. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you all. Okay. Okay, um, any messages? Okay, I'm just waiting for your messages. Okay, waiting for your messages. And inshallah, uh, we'll try to continue such lectures It is somehow interactive. It, it is, يعني طبعا راح تخلينا بجو ال يعني الجو ال يعني جو المحاضرة شوي نرجع للجامعة شوي يعني مو الآن بعيدين شوي عن جو الجامعة. Okay, we miss our university much. إن شاء الله we'll meet very soon. إن شاء الله. Okay, no messages. Okay, I mean. Okay, next lecture, المحاضرة القادمة. Okay, next lecture, I'll try to fix. Maybe by the end of this week. Maybe on. Okay, today is Saturday. Maybe, maybe. Uh, um, okay, we'll try. Okay, I'll just send another question to the Google Classroom. Who's Jack Muhammad? Okay. Okay. Inshallah, I'll try to uh, I'll try to fix. Maybe uh, in the coming days, I'll try to give you. Uh, I'll try to give you this. Uh, uh, 
the, the uh, timing for the next lecture. Okay. So if you don't have uh, anything to add, okay, I uh, will stop here. Thank you for joining us. Uh, and uh, you are all welcomed. Thank you very much indeed. Okay. So make the legend. Okay, why not? Why not? Why not? If it is, uh, if it is the uh, okay. Again, I'll um, I'll send uh, okay you a message to because most of you said okay most of you said it is best for for us to to be uh, okay uh, to to have the lecture at night rather than in the morning or afternoon. Okay, inshallah, I'll try. I'll, I'll give you a questionnaire or I'll ask you a question. What is the again? I'll ask you the what, what is the best time for you to join the lecture? Inshallah, we'll uh, we'll try to fix another fix another uh, time for the lecture. Maybe the best time for you that, that there's a good uh, internet connection. Okay, inshallah. Okay, okay. If you don't have anything, okay, you will leave now. Okay, I hope you uh, you'll be all safe and sound. Okay, thank you very much indeed. Thank you for uh, for joining us. Okay, thank you very much. Goodbye. See you inshallah next lecture. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Hey, I'll